It's definitely interesting. Seems like there's no Discord or anything. We're just Mongo pulling a 22, which is not exactly advised, but I guess we'll see how it goes. There's no real communication, which is going to lead to some deaths. Looks like this run's probably over already. Is he not gonna shoot?
Yikes. Jesus. This is going to be a very interesting run, to say the least. Healed. I mean, to be fair, I guess Freehold is probably one of the keys that you don't need too much communication, because there's not... There aren't a lot of kicks in Freehold, right? Um, there's only a couple that are important, like the Frost Blast and the Water Blasts. But normally when you do, like, relatively high keys, like 22s, 23s, or anything higher than that, normally people will go on Discord or something. It's not to say that it can't work, it's just, in my experience, I haven't seen it work very well. But we'll see. I mean, it, it's a 22 and everyone's pretty overgeared at this point, and it's a freehold. So we might be able to chest this, but... Like, I had no idea what they were doing at the start, and I was just dying to random stuff, because there's no real communication. And then the first boss was also really, really messy. Like, we managed to live it, but... Um, it wasn't ideal. of each other, he took a lot of damage there. Cancel blind rages. I'm gonna watch for water bolts and frost blast. Frost Blast. I'm gonna stun that. Frost Blast again. No one's canceling it. So since I don't know what he plans on pulling, I'm going to just pop cooldowns on CD. Which of course is not going to be the most efficient, but again, we don't know what he's really planning to do. We're going to have to pop bubble there. We sort of have to just guess and uh, hope for the best. Another reason why normally you want to communicate. Looks like he's... is he about to do a double pack? He is. Oh god. Yeah, so we just popped our major cooldown, so we're not gonna have it now. 
for this really big double pack. Stun that for him. he doing now? Boss? Yeah, he's doing boss. So we'll Three, focus two. on Eudora. Two. Have a shot on me again. Dora at half already, so we're doing good on that. Got her shot on me. Didn't have GCD ready. Good, I'm gonna get value out of the shield. Got her shot on me again. Good shots. Surge. Got her shot on me again. Uh, we're gonna help stone that. Oops. Beware. I think we're gonna just again pop cooldowns on CD. Whether that's a good thing to do in this case or not, we again don't know. Well, we're definitely killing the boss fast because we popped the CDs, but I'm... Um, I don't know if he's going to do it single or double polar oblessness. He hasn't said anything. Looks like he's doing a single pull. He might chain this though. I'm gonna cancel these for him. So we got a double pull here and again, of course, we don't have wings because we popped it on the boss because we don't know what he's planning. Uh, Time-wise, how do we look? Um, Time-wise, we look okay, I think. Um, it's definitely going to be tight, though. We had some troubles at the beginning. Got a really good wings proc there. Yeah. Looks like we're going to. I'm assuming that's Fear Obelisk. Let's 
had our cooldowns up, so we could just burn this guy really quick, which we did. We deleted all the ads. Uh, looks like we're going to the ring. Uh, 14 minutes, we'll be done with this guy. Um, yeah, it's timeable. Definitely, we're at 67%. If we don't have any major wipes at this point, I think we time this. Despite all the troubles that happened at the beginning. Which, I think this would be the first time I time a 22 plus key without voice chat. Which will definitely, uh, that's definitely interesting. I also don't know any of these people. This is a complete pub group. Which you don't see many of these, like, pub groups doing anything higher than 20 on Alliance. So this is definitely rare, to say the least. We're gonna cancel all these. We're gonna watch for Frost Blast. That's the one that does the most damage. There it is. Feels like we're over percent. Teaming is always weird in freehold. I'm guessing we're gonna do all the yellow guys on the other side. The uh, small non elites that give a lot of percent. I uh, think for the sub. Uh, looks like the pig RP's been started. And he's pulling the yellow guys, yeah. Gonna go help with the pig, we don't have any damage cooldowns right now. He is pulling, what is he? At the Brian scale. Frost Blast will get that. Off a minor defensive. We're gonna stun this, too many water bolts are going off. And I guess he's gonna chain this into the uh, turtle, probably. Yep. He was just waiting for them to get a little lower. We're at 84% with two obelisks and two bosses. Uh, yeah, it's going to be close, but we're still on track, I think. We'll get one more hero. Um, whether we use it on the shark boss or last boss, I'm not sure. I'm guessing we're going to use it on last boss, though. Because we're probably doing spider with the last boss. Which... Hopefully that doesn't turn into a shit show, because again, we're not calling kicks or anything. Uh, thanks man. I pretty much made the guide hoping to help some people, because I've noticed that a lot of uh, Rep Paladins right now are just either building wrong or they just don't really understand how the class is working. So I kind of hope to set, shed some light so if that helped you understand how to play the class better, uh, then, you know, mission achieved. God, you gotta be kidding me. They didn't stop any of the Frost Blasts, that's just gonna kill people. 
I'm gonna have to wait here for a rose. I hope that wasn't a B rose. I'm guessing we're gonna do the six. Yeah, I think we're gonna be doing the six Ravager pack and the two Obelisk, and I'm guessing that's gonna get us the 100%. Again, he also didn't share the route at the beginning, so I don't really know what's going on. only make some guesses, educated guesses, I guess you could call it. He's gonna do his second charge right now. Uh, something you should know about Trothak, the way that he does his sharks, he throws out one shark that'll chase you around, he'll throw out his second shark that chases you around, and then he immediately does, uh, two, um, two shark pickups in a row. So right after the Sharknado, he's going to immediately drop a shark, which he did on me. He picked up the first one, and now within like two or three seconds, he's going to go pick that one up. Let's see? He always does the same thing. So even if you don't see it on like uh, your DBM or Little Wigs or Big Wigs, that's how he always does it every time. Gonna throw a shark. He's gonna pick up the first. Wait two seconds, he's gonna pick up the next one now. And that's a good way that you can always know when you need to dodge him running across the screen. two of them down. You can just line the rest of them. Hopefully they don't kill themselves. You definitely don't want to be trapped on the other side. Looks like they're finishing off the stocks though. softened up the blob because we stayed with the tank. Um, I'm guessing we're doing boss next. I think. And then probably the last three packs, which should take like a minute. The only thing left that could be scary is uh, the spider, so we're going to definitely focus down the spider. Because um, again, we're not in Discord, so we're not calling kicks. Better not take the risk of leaving it up. Three, two, one. I am really hoping the hunter gets the first kick from range, because someone needs to. Alright, good. Looks like Ro got that one. So we'll get this one. Nope. Oh, uh, tank also did. That's okay. We 
have our kick up. We're gonna kick it right away. Hunter still has his kick. Alright, spider's dead, good. Looks like everyone had a similar idea of uh, focusing the spider. This should take about two to three minutes to complete this boss, and then we'll have about a minute and a half to do the last couple. I think it'll be about two minutes more. And then as long as we properly pull the rest of the stuff, we'll get our percent. So yeah, to my surprise, it looks like this is going to work out. Um, I will show you the talents right after I finish this run. Um, I run Crusade. Um, Wake of Ashes is pretty much a mandatory. Uh, in this dungeon, I took um, lower cooldown reduction on Bubble rather than Cavalier, because there's a lot of damage that goes out that you can't avoid. Um, and then, uh, normally you want to take Zeal, but I wasn't sure how much single target damage we were going to have in this dungeon, so I took uh, Templar's Verdict instead of Zeal. Make the uh, boss fights go a little faster. We're going to bubble this. That was a little spicy. We're also going to help heal. Ideally, if we can phase him before he does his next one. Going to though. Ooh. All right, good. We phased him. Big crits. I'm gonna let the hunter finish. And we go over to the side here, and we get our last couple percent. We want to let the Ravagers do their thing, so we're only looking to stop the Oarsmen. We're going to bop. We're going to interrupt the Storm Lightning. We're going to wait for those painful motivation casts to go off. Just like that, we're going to cancel. Alright, we had bad RNG. Unfortunate. That's not good. Alright, we're gonna try and finish this guy who's storm bolting off. That's really unlucky. Got the really bad RNG. There's a way to force the good RNG, but I'll talk about that in a sec. Alright. So that was by no mean, like, even close to a clean run. Um, there's a lot of stuff that could have been done to make that better.